Hi, I'm Pastor Justin, and welcome to our daily Lenten devotion based on the book, Because Grace, from Pastor John Stevens. Well, here we are in the midst of our first full week of April, getting closer and closer to Holy Week. And our scriptures now tend to focus on those last days before the Passion narrative begins. Our scripture for today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 45 through 57. I invite you to read that in your own Bible or Bible app or take a look at the comments section or description of our YouTube video or along with the email that was sent out with this. It's focused on the plot to kill Jesus. Well, let's hear what Pastor Stevens has to say to us today. I heard each gear catching, click, 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 as the cart moved higher on the track. As the car moved up, my stomach wanted to plummet. I could see the ground far down below, and the sky was getting closer and closer. There was a pause, and then for a moment, I was weightless, till gravity caught up to us and the roller coaster pulled us downward fast. Well, that's the feeling I get reading this section of John, not to mention the other three Gospels. Leaders, they want Jesus to die, and they're afraid of the people. We're in the last days of Lent, and from here on out, things start to move fast. Crucial parts of the story, they, they take shape, and we see the cross looming in the background. We feel it in our stomachs as we get closer and closer. And in John, there's this verse that acts this way for me, and it causes my stomach to tighten. John writes, Now the chief priests and Pharisees had given order that anyone who knew where Jesus was should let them know. I wonder. Would I be the one that would let them know where Jesus was staying? I wonder. And honestly, I wish I could say I wouldn't. But I also know the power of fear. Because of that fact, I give great thanks for the power of grace. The greater power of God who pours out grace. The greater power of God who, through the empty tomb, conquers my fear. We're there, but not yet. We still have the cross to come. Let us pray. This roller coaster doesn't seem to stop, Jesus. So do not let me go. Your grace takes control. Hold me. Keep me steady, God. Do not let me go. I rest in your grace. Your arms hold me securely. Do not let me go. Amen. May you go through this day with a, with a knot in your stomach, knowing what's to come for Jesus, but all the while resting securely in God's embrace. Amen.